welcome. I'm Kimberly. Welcome to Simply Living in Small Town. I hope everybody's having a great week so far and staying safe. The weather has been all over the place. A lot of um, tornadoes and that, and even we have been affected by that in that, you know, well, we had a tornado warning uh, last late last night. So I hope everybody's staying safe. It's been, um, I've seen that there's been quite a few places that's had tornadoes ours kind of went north of us uh, well was supposed to i don't think it actually um touched down is what i want to say <laughs> because i didn't hear anything about that so um welcome to everyone that is uh newly watching for the first time and welcome back to those of you that have been following along so, and as usual, I already have a cat up here on top of me, and I just came up here, so that's, <laughs> oh, it's been a few minutes. Um, <clears throat> I've had a lot going on, and not only that, I've just, not only the just being swamped, like swamped with stuff to do. I have just literally not been feeling good between allergies and flare up that stuff and I have just literally physically been in so much pain um, I just had a lot that way every day has been you know like even a greater challenge that way recently so it's become very humid here 70 80 something degrees and we're getting rain 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 and then on top of that i was out of um i was out of one of my medications for like a month so months back i lost my family doctor which she was pretty much like my everything um as far as doctors go um i had been with her for over 20 years and she'd seen me at my best and at my worst and she was just the best doctor ever and um, she had to well she herself has multiple sclerosis and she had had a procedure done and had had um, issues with said procedure and so it finally came to a point where she is not it was not coming back basically and that was just the worst news that i could have heard on that part because as probably most or all of you know it these days it's extremely hard to get um, an amazing doctor like that so um I was just in shock originally when I heard the news and I was um, worried about myself because I'm still um, trying to do something about that which isn't good because I with all my medical conditions I you know I have to have a doctor um, but not only that I was you know I was also cried and upset because I'm worried about her and I just I just hate that for her so much um, so I will you know continue to pray for her but anyway that has led to then others taking over basically my medication list which is quite a few med medications um, it's quite a lengthy list and so I had um, requested a re fill last month through my my chart for this medication that's for my lupus and it didn't get filled and I didn't jump on calling about it because I had already had kind of some words with these people about my medications because they weren't refilling them and such so and it's not the pharmacy but rather like whoever's handling in other words approving my medications getting refilled so I then um, as of last week I was out of you know I was down to like I ran out of a bunch last week so like the bulk of what was left mostly and 
Um, so when I requested refills for those, I guess they realized it was like that they meant to approve it. I assume because whatever, for whatever reason, then they finally went ahead and approved it. But anyway, so I have been without um, that medication for a month. And so, y'all, I'm... <laughs> My body has just been, it's not been in a good place. But I do have some whips to show you. So, I got two. And one of which I already showed you. Um, but I've made some progress on it. The other, I have never showed you. So, let's dig in. So, the first one I have, I started making this top. It's just going to be two panels. So I have one panel so far, <laughs> and this is the Premier Home Cotton and the colorway Violet Splash. I love it because I love purple. Purple's my favorite. And so I have gotten started on the second panel. <laughs> and then once both these panels are done, I'm going to essentially just stitch them together up here at the top, stitch the sides together, wear it over a tank top. I think this is going to be just cute and adorable. And my daughter wants one of these as well yet. So, out of the purple. And I have, if you've never seen these, I have this giant cone. It's like 700 something yards. But this is the Premier Home Cotton. Now, I do wish, one thing I was thinking about earlier today, which kind of, like, they have a bunch of colors like this, where it's like this white, it's almost like a um, bleached kind of look in jeans and stuff, like with these colors, and they have pink like this, and orange, and green, and a couple types of denim looking colors, like a light denim looking color, and a dark one. I have like all these colors, but I just have them in the, um, in the little balls. They make them in these little, like, they are 90 something yards, the balls are. Um, now I do have another one like this in the orange. I think it's really pretty. And the turquoise. And I think that's it. But what I'm getting at, I wish y'all that they put more of the colors in these cones because you can't get or at least I haven't seen them anywhere yet. Uh, oh, excuse me. Um, I don't even think, because I have looked at them on Premier's website, I would. I do need to place an order with them for some things before too long. But what I'm saying is, like, they don't have all the colors in the cones like that, or like this. And I absolutely love this because, like, you know, I can make... A bunch of different things from this and I mean I, I like the idea of buying them in the cones and getting the 700 and something yards so that's my only issue with that but it's you know it is what it is but I should um, this top is a pretty simple again it's just something that you know something simplistic to do for a cute little summer top. Now I will tell you, this panel looks really good. The, this, um, the second panel here. My first panel, y'all, I had to do some fudging on and I was finally like, whatever. It's, it's, it's whatever. Okay, y'all, it's whatever. Like, nobody's even gonna notice. I'm just like, forget it. You know what? <laughs> it's my top. No one's going to notice. No one's going to even whatever. It's not like someone's going to stand there and count and whatever. I'm just like, okay, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Now, if you've been following me, you know I don't generally do that because I get a little bit upset. <laughs> I don't like when I know there's, let's say, Let's say I dropped a stitch, okay? Like, which is the issue with the next piece that I am going to show you. Um, let's say I dropped a stitch. I can't, like, 
it's like one of those things. Once I see it, I've seen it. Like I can't even see it. And then I'm just, no, that ha like, no, I have to go back and take that. You know, I, but so there's some stuff though on occasion where there might be some little whatever. And I'm just like, well, you know, is that going to matter really? Like it depends on what it is. Generally, yes, I will frog it back and redo it. But it really just depends. But like I said, this is a top for myself. And so, you know, so what? Like, it's fine. So the next thing is a blanket that, yeah, I've like literally, it seems like I've taken forever literally to get back to. And honestly, earlier today, I was like, oh, do I really want to tackle that? Yes, I need to. Okay, come on. You need to hold yourself accountable at some point in time to, you know, go back, you know, straighten your mess out, okay? So, I have this blanket. I just don't want to mess this all up. I've got yarn like everywhere from it but anyway <laughs> I just don't want to mess up my stitches y'all <laughs> so I have this blanket oh my arms aren't long enough there we go now this is only half of it y'all so Look how pretty that is. It's looking so pretty. Okay. So this is, it's not very long. Okay. That's all the longer it is. <clears throat> it's a small blanket. And so the multicolored running through here, let's see, like this right here. Um, is the Premier Color Fusion Chunky Yarn, and it's berries and cream. <laughs> yes. I had to think for just a second. I'm like, yes, that's it. That I love, and I also just got it, if you've been following along, I just got that in the DK, too, because ugh, the colorway is just, it's like a multitude of purple and white. I will show you in just a second. But the purple, then, the, the dark purple color, is Bernat Softy Chunky. And this is all five weight, you know, it's went out. Um, that one I'm trying to think for a minute because there's something about that. Now, I don't remember the colorway. I do remember that it's not even a reference color to purple, but I'm telling y'all, it is a deep, I don't even understand that because I can't remember what the color name is, but it does not have like a reference to purple. It's some, it's like burgundy or something. And this is not burgundy. It's, it's literally a deep purple. <laughs> if you can see right there, that how dark that is. So, um, but there's something on the weight of it too. I can't remember. And I don't, I don't remember what it was, but anyway, so I will show you, I have to find it, where, I laid it behind me, I'm like, I have it here, now y'all, my ball looks terrible, but it is what it is, okay, I'm just saying, because y'all, I had to rip out rows of this, so this is a Cinnamon Stitches tutorial that was a boggy creek blanket that um tutorial that she did um so that's why it was meant to be like a small blanket for the kids at the boggy uh, i can't even speak the, bo <laughs> the boggy creek camp that's in florida and um she's got yarn too um th she delivers and there's a couple other people i know lenan at Nina's Knots Crochet. I think, um, 
I'm trying to think. But there's like two other ladies. Or one of them stepped down this year. But anyway, they take all these blankets that are donated from y'all. Whoever donates, you know, the blankets. They got to be a specific size. And so, um, because they're to go on a twin bed for these children. And then the kids get to take, a, you know, the blanket home with them. It's for, the, the camp is for um, children with chronic illness. And so they take these blankets, like all these donated blankets down there for this every year. So that's what this tutorial, and she came out with this tutorial like seven months ago. So I think I started on this about six months ago. I was doing great, okay? I was doing great. <laughs> First of all, I have never used, so this is the, this is the Premier Color Fusion. I know it's a mess, sorry. But you can see it's all purples, burgundy. It's gorgeous. It really is. And then the softy chunky, which I, so y'all, it's, it's in the bottom of the bag. I don't even have it balled up. It's just a giant mess of, like, it's literally like, here, I'll give you an idea here of what. I'm just leaving it in the bag, but I'm just going to show you. This is like what I'm dealing with. <laughs> I had to rip out. Yes, I had to rip out. Like, I... Uh, I want to say it was 10 or ten or 12 rows, something like that. I did this... I did that part months ago. So what happened was... I dropped a stitch. And... Then realized it because I wasn't counting or anything. Didn't use stitch markers. Bad on me. Okay. <laughs> the purple part. So, again, it's very dark. I never have trouble with black, even though people always say, I never have trouble seeing that. But I've really had a hard time seeing this purple at times. Of course, it doesn't help because, like, my front room, if I sit in there... And crochet like over on the couch there's no it's like when it gets dark out front like outside uh, we have like these huge windows and then we have a great big window in the front door and then the couch is right there by the front door right now anyway and so it gets pretty dark over there and I have trouble seeing it. so that's what happened I was crocheting on I know that on an evening and then I I drop a stitch I missed it and then I realized it, like I started working on it the next morning, never even whatever about it. And then like, I, I don't know, I held it up and I was like, oh, oh, wait, you know, I knew how many stitches like that I started with. So I, I, I knew how many I was supposed to have. So I went back and counted and I was like, oh, thought so. like I knew it, I could see. So I had to rip all, this was like. And of course, it was after, like, I did how many rows, whatever, that morning and didn't realize it till you know, like, later in the day. So, then, he, anyway, I was, like, really upset with myself, y'all. <laughs> I was super upset with myself. I just literally put the blanket up. I, don't, I, was, I was rolling right along on this and would have had it done. But I literally put it up. I was so... I was so upset. I put the blanket back up in the bag, and I had just left it. Okay, I'd left it for months. So then at one point, I had pulled the bag back out, went ahead and ripped all those rows out because I had not dealt with that yet because I am using this and the softy, the Burnett Softy Chunky in this Premier Color Fusion. But I'm using two different yarns. Well, I have never, so this is my first blanket that I've ever made with two different yarns. Um, I'm trying to think. No, I haven't had anything. I didn't, I was trying to think if there was something since then, but no. Yes, there has. Yes, there has. I knew there was something. Okay, there is a blanket that, the last blanket that I actually started, that if you go back, probably, or three months ago 
that I started that's a grainy blanket. It's a grainy square blanket. Now, that one I'm using, let's see, three different colors. But, but what I'm saying, this was the first one, okay, <laughs> that I'd ever done that with as far as the, you know, alternating colors, like alternating yarns. So, I, I love this. I think it's going to be gorgeous. I was literally not trying to make this to send to Boggy Creek because I didn't feel like that it was going to be, I didn't feel like it was going to be good enough, honestly. Um, and not because of Cinema Stitches tutorial, because her tutorial is amazing as usual. She does wonderful tutorials, but, um, I wasn't sure about like putting these colors together. So the color fusion with the really deep purple. And now that I see it, like it just, oh, it looks so pretty, doesn't it? And I, I mean, personally, I love it. You know, personally, I love it but I just didn't feel like it was really maybe right or whatnot. And plus it was the, again, the first one that I've ever done like two alternating. And I knew like, I didn't want to send something there that would be like, um, probably have mistakes in it. So <laughs> I'm going to be honest. So anyway, anyway, I one day decided to rip all those rows out. Okay. Got it back to where, Everything was good, except for the fact that I had two piles, two piles of yarn in the bottom of my whip bag, this, this big whip bag, because I got a great big one sitting here. Okay, and then that's all the further I went, because I was like, after that, like, that took another little kind of a toll on me that I was just like, oh my word, because, you know, once you like frog all that out, you really see how much that it was like, oh my word. So <laughs> anyway, I have been wanting to get this back out and tackle this. So I'm super excited because now like, um, I just need to keep going and just finish it now. So, which is great because there is only one other blanket, um, that I have to complete there. Well, yeah. Um, so, and that one, I don't, I, you know, I'm not on a timeline with the other blanket. Um, I mean, heck if I didn't even finish that till next fall, that would probably be okay. <laughs> um, even though there's like that one and then I want to make myself one of the same one. But now I do say that I have, I actually have another blanket that needs to be finished. Well, eventually, but that's a granny square blanket. That is for my bedroom. And eventually it'll get done. I'm currently missing two skeins of yarn for that blanket. And I, I can't for the life of me figure out where they've gone. And I keep just buying like two more skeins at a time every little bit and then just adding on to it. And I'm just like, so anyway, I, that's not on a timeline either. So technically I have two blankets besides this that are not completed if we want to be technical, <laughs> but this one can be gone ahead and completed soon. Now in the interim, while I was sulking, okay, over having to frog all that out and then not wanting to deal with um, two piles of yarn in the bottom of the bag, I ordered some more because I needed, I couldn't remember if it was the purple because I think it's the purple. And then, you know, y'all, I couldn't even remember. So I'm just going to be honest. I ordered one of each. <laughs> I just ordered one of each and then you know what i have enough i straight up have enough well now today so this blanket now because you have this oh on the edge here let me throw that back in here so you can see this where you have this where this is running along the edge because you have the two different yarns so, 
<clears throat> you put an edge on this blanket, which was my plan. Y'all, I'm telling you, I wonder about myself sometimes. I really do. Some of the just simplest stuff, I go, oh, I don't even know what I was thinking. <laughs> I realized today, I, again, I don't know what the heck. Um, <laughs> I have, okay, so I have some red heart yarn put back. It's like a cream color. And I haven't used it for anything or nothing, you know. Like, it's just like an off-white color. And I have, I think, six skeins of it because I got two Mary Maxim mystery bags last year that were identical, the bags were. So, there was like three in one and three in the other. Which is fine because, I mean, you can, you know, use that for like pretty much whatever. And I'm fine with like... Um, the basic red heart yarn is okay. It's where you start getting into the variegated and the soft striping and some of that that I really don't care as much for because, in other words, it's very rough. I do not mind the ones that are like uh, a so the solid color ones. They are a little, um, what's the word I think people have used this like, I want to say like firm or a little stiff. That's what I'm looking for. A little stiff. I do not mind that at all. As long as it doesn't feel like it's like cutting through my fingers, like <laughs> I don't mind that. Like I literally don't. So I have nothing against the solid colors. It's the variegated that are, that I've had, you know, issues with and I don't really, um, that I don't want to use. So anyway, point of hand was I had intention to use the Red Heart off-white color. I was going to use that for the border on here, on this blanket. I thought that would be really pretty, just a cream color. And then I, my brain earlier was like, oh, wait. <laughs> because, you know, it's a regular four-weight acrylic. This is not. <laughs> Y'all, this is five-weight. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. So I'm just thinking, yeah, you know, I'm going to need to, um, I think what I would like to do is get like some, uh, order some Premier Serenity, the Serenity Chunky to go with this but I just wasn't thinking because that's another thing too this is a chunky you know weight blanket I have never I've never done a five weight blanket like this is the first one so my mind was just like not even clicking with um you know that's not what you want <laughs> so <laughs> it's fine I just need to order Again, I think that I, it's what I would really like to use is some Premier Serenity Chunky. So I think that would be, but yeah, doesn't that look so pretty? It's just so, so, so pretty. I love, love, love the colors. And I just think, and again, the tutorial, if you, I apologize. <laughs> my, my tripod moved. Um, I will definitely link, you know, her tutorial in the description box, of course. And it's a really fun, easy tutorial. So if you would like to make one, because of course you can make it any size, but it's very simplistic. Um, so anyway, there's that. And I, but I am, you know, even though my brain didn't click with the whole thing about pairing the red heart, you know, four weight yarn that I have with it, my mind wasn't clicking over that. Um, <laughs> despite that I am proud of the fact that I have hopped back into this and I will just go ahead and get it finished now obviously pro I will you know minus the border because obviously I'm going to have to order some yarn I do not have um yeah I don't have anything in five weight other than you know <laughs> Other than this, so yeah, this looks like, <laughs> that's about, that's about it. I mean, I've gotten quite, a, I have quite a bit of yarn now that I really don't. And I, 
I don't have an issue with five link yarn. I like it. The only issue that I have is that after um, some time, like my wrist does get really sore and stuff like, um, you know, depend on how long I've been doing it of a day with five weight. Now, when we get higher, like six, it's e that's even six or seven. That's even like, that's even way worse because then you're using the giant hook, which speaking of that, not, you know, I told you I always stick my hooks in my, I just knife it right through there. So this is what I'm using. It's the Susan Bates Crystal Light hook. And this should be, it's a seven. Um, because that's what the tutorial, so. Well, I mean, not only that, that's what you would at least need to use for a five weight, you know. Um, for the most part, for a five weight uh, yarn. But so anyway, I, again, though, I am proud of myself for at least, and yes, the hook's been in here the whole time because I would have had to figure that out too. That's why I like to stick them in the bag like that, unless it's stuff that I, um, like it's like my general stuff where I'm just like, oh yeah, that's my Susan Bates sex hook. And then I don't, I don't worry about it. So, that's the easiest way for me to do it. Say it's a five hook, um, like my daughter's sweater. I've just left the hook with that for that. So if it's not, in other words, the six, <laughs> if it's something different, the hook will be with the whip. So that's just how I, that's why I kind of got to the point too. I was like, I'm really going to have to start investing. Y'all, I only had, I really only had two sets of hooks, the crystal light hooks, but then, you know, a regular just set of Susan Bates. And then I got a, I bought a set of boy hooks and I'm, I, I don't really use them. Um, and it's not that like I can use a boy hook cause actually on this piece here, I'm actually using a I'm trying to think if that's a six or a six and a half. It's a boy hook. Um, I, I don't mind that even though they're not my favorite hooks, but my issue was with the boy set that I got. It does not have, it jumps from like 5.25 to 5.75. It doesn't have a six hook. So I was like, so I've never... I've never used that set is what I'm saying. So, but anyway, I had to start investing in some hooks so that I could leave because I prefer to do that versus, y'all, if I wrote, if I write notes, this is how bad, I mean, it's seriously, if I write myself notes, it has to be like in a notebook or now if I do it and I throw it in a whip bag, I'm good, you know. If I wrote it, wrote it in a notepad or a notebook, because like some of them that I have, then like the notebook gets misplaced. And <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I, I have to do, do things a certain way for myself. But at any rate, um, oh, I just pulled that out. Ah! At any rate, I am excited that I've jumped back on this. There we go. That I've jumped back on this blanket and I will have that done here shortly, which is great because I'm probably, I'm not going to say I will not work on any blankets over the summer, but um, I mean, I probably won't be doing like, you know, a lot of that. Like, um, you know, in the winter, it's like the greatest thing because you're, <laughs> you know, if you're going to crochet because you're just sitting there making this blanket bigger and bigger and it's, on your lap keeping you warm like so but I, I probably won't be doing you know a bunch of that this summer so anyway I am staying on track with kind of creating some new pieces like I want for now and also trying to finish up 
some of these other pieces because that's, you know, from this last year and that. So, like previous whips because I, I still want to get, you know, that stuff wrapped up. So, I'm not getting completely too far ahead of myself. So, and on that note, um, I will see you next time. God bless and good night.